everything you can use. What have I got to help myself? Be a lot better if I had a good, solid first aid kit. But even failing that, at least some vodka might help. Hard liquor, mouthwash, anything with a strong alcohol component will help to clean a wound. Just in case you're not familiar with some basic first aid, pressure on a bad wound, keep the pressure on it. Don't let it bleed too wildly. Keep it covered. I'll have to do for now. Sooner or later, you've got to get some rest. A lack of sleep is going to weaken your defenses and make it so that you're unable to think clearly. And you know what? If you have a family, no child is going to want to sleep this close to the water. Oh, no. Oh, man. I just lost a piece of insulation, a piece of comfort by dropping that pillow in the water. It's just stupid. Slow down. This isn't going to be fun. Okay. All right, you gotta get this stuff cleared off. I mean, look around. How unprepared is this house? You knew a storm was coming. You should be prepared. Not be scrambling around like this. All right. And this, I guess, is gonna be a bed. Oh. If you have two or more people, you can at least sleep in shifts. Always keep one person watching for more dangers. Whoa. Whoa. Like a candle putting your blankets on fire. This is gonna be anything but comfortable. But survival never is. Coming up. And I know this seems a little revolting, but might be the only source of drinking water in the house. We all standing there for like three minutes looking at the water coming. But when it hit that door, when it started coming under the door. You knew. And, yeah, well, we still stood there and looked because we couldn't believe it, that water had actually got. And then we just broke. Everything was frantic. There's all these preconceived notions on survival. What would your advice be to me? Don't panic, because if you panic, you're gonna lose all sight of what you need to do. And that's just people were drowning. They were panicking and running out in this water, and they were drowning. The main thing is don't panic, which most of the city did. Sleep is so important to get. Precisely because it's so difficult to get. At best, you're gonna sleep 20 minutes at a time. And now there's no water. Oh, nice. And this is exactly what happens when you run around in a panic state. All I did was throw in this rag. Not only did it not plug up the hole, but now the sewer's backed up and the water's contaminated. All right, at least it's something a little ironic that I'm sloshing around in a trillion gallons of water and I can't drink any of it. All of this water is putrid and contaminated. Believe it or not, this water, uh oh, I just flushed it. Whoa. See again, move slowly. Take it easy. I gotta save every little drop of water I can. Dehydration can kill someone in three days. All right, I know this seems a little revolting, but might be the only source of drinking water in the house. It comes from the same line as your taps do. All right, bad judgment call. I elected to stay the night in the car and wait it out, and the water's actually risen. Halfway up the vehicle now, it looks like, because it's already up to my car seat. So I'm now officially trapped in here. And that's what happens with survival. 
you know, what's a good decision in one situation is an absolutely horrible decision in another situation. When you're in a car surrounded by rising floodwaters, you have to decide whether to stay or go. The important thing is to realize that you have to make a decision. I'm gonna have to make myself a torch so I can see better. Now, this is the desk of a woman and she has some cleansing alcohol and some petroleum jelly. Oh, tissue paper. Now, to make a torch work properly, you've gotta have a nice, burnable core. The trick is rolling this tissue as tight as possible. All right, I've got my core. And I'm going to saturate it with some petroleum jelly. The other thing we have here is some of that cleansing alcohol. Really, anything that's got an alcohol base to it is gonna work. Just get a little bit nestled into some of this tissue paper. Last thing I can do here is roll this up. If all I did was grab some crumpled up paper and lit that and tried to light my way with it, I wouldn't get much more than 20 feet before I'd have to throw it on the floor in a big flame. It wouldn't last. Making a torch means making something that is going to last. If you're on the 18th floor of an office building in the pitch dark, well, I know I'd want to be able to see. And this is one way to do that. A torch like this may give you as much as an hour of light. Ah, uh, all right. This food is now contaminated because it's in the putrid water. It's got to air dry or I've got to find a way to cook it. That's not good. Fortunately, yeah, there's meat still frozen in the freezer. But there's other food that's getting ready to rot, so I've got to deal with it. Save as much food as I can. Think about it for a second. You're sloshing around in one big giant cesspool. You've got to keep yourself clean as much as possible. You touch the water, come up, touch your eyes, your ears, your mouth. You can put really nasty bacteria into your system. That could be nasty. Let's see what I got to work with around here. That's what I thought. So I had fresh salmon in the fridge. It's still good, but it won't be good for much longer. It's not that hard to prepare a little bit of meat, turn it into something that'll last for many, many days. All I want to do is slice this up thin. It's no time to get squeamish. You know what? This is when people normally throw away the bones. You're in survival mode. Keep every scrap of food. You might have to eat it. Even if you can't eat some of the leftover food, skin on a fish, you boil it up, makes a super, super strong glue. Could be handy. Now I need some lemon juice. Perfect. All I need to do now is marinate this when the acid in the lemon juice reacts chemically with the fish, it kills most of the bacteria and cooks the salmon. But be aware, this is only safe with fish, not chicken or beef. Even orange juice won't work, it's too sweet. Highly acidic lemon juice is the best. And that way, I just save myself some food. Candles and flashlights won't last forever. But that doesn't mean you have to go without light. <laughs> 